It's time now for Ask the Expert. New research reveals low iron levels during pregnancy may be linked to an increased risk of autism. We brought in Dr. Brian Baer, our expert and obstetrician and gynecologist, joining us live this afternoon. Let's talk about this study. What did it find in terms of iron and autism? How are they linked? Well, the, what they did is they studied women over age 35 who had low iron levels. And there were also associated problems with obesity and high blood pressure and diabetes, but they found a five-fold greater risk of those children having autism, and it's, it's significant. And it was, it, the only problem with the study was is that it was 900 women, so it's a low number, so yet to be seen. Uh, they'll need a better, bigger, better study. And it's a little bit of a scary thing because you don't want them to cut out iron completely. They still need iron. Absolutely. And what's important is, is that iron is crucial for early brain development. And so we, we know that it's involved with thinking and children's ability to engage socially as well as language and motor development. So it's very important. Okay. Once the baby is born, what do we know about iron intake from there on in? What's the norm? Well, the norm is, is that kids should still get plenty of iron and for moms who are pregnant they should continue to breastfeed and, and that's important and then also make sure they take their prenatal vitamin which has iron in it as well. So for people watching I mean is it you always get scared how much is too much how much is not enough I mean is it something you just consult with your doctor about? Well this is the thing I always have encouraged people to talk to their physician and actually have an iron or a hemoglobin level taken preconceptually. And you should really start taking iron three months before. And what's really cool about pregnancy that we know is that you can never get enough iron dietarily, no matter how well you eat. And therefore, the prenatal vitamin with iron is very impactful. And when we check people, up to 50% of people have low iron levels to begin with. Okay. It seems like there's a long list of things, environmental, dietary, what have you that can be linked to autism. How is a person supposed to wade through all of this stuff? Well, it goes to our, we have a graphic that we are gonna show that shows, basically says that there is an association between low iron levels and autism, but there's no real direct cause and effect. And the reason why, to answer your question, is, is that there's multiple causes and multiple risk factors that haven't all been elucidated. And it's, it's a huge question that's been unanswered over the years, from iron levels to flu shots to all those things that what really causes this problem. But the bottom line is, is that it gives us another good reason for people to take iron in pregnancy, preconceptually, and while they're breastfeeding post. Right. delivery. Dr. Perfect. Bear, thanks for coming in. Have a question for him or any of our experts? You can email asktheexpert at tmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail at that number right there on your screen. We'll be back after this.